hello everyone welcome back uh, welcome back again so in this segment we are going to see the reverse process so if we have a decimal number how we can represent it as a binary octal or hexadecimal expansion so uh, for binary expansion means for a binary number the base equals to 2 that means all the digit we are going to represent it with only 0 and 1 okay so if we have a decimal number any number here so all I have to do, I have to represent it with a base 2. Okay, so that is going to look like like a, uh, like that, 2 to the power n minus 1, something like that. So a2, 2 to the power 2, plus a0, sorry, a1, 2 to the power 1, plus a0, 2 to the power 0. Okay, so that's, that's the way how I'm going to represent this decimal number. So all of the a0, a1, a2, a n minus 1, they are going to be the part of my binary number. All right. <clears throat> so here what actually I'm going to do as the base is 2, here the algorithm works like that. I'm going to keep dividing the decimal number with 2. All right. So here the decimal number I'm going to keep dividing with 2. So in the a divide b algorithm, my b is going to be like um, here I'm also using b as a base so let's see if x divide y in algorithm my um, x value okay x value I'm going to use it like as a 2 okay I'm going to divide every uh, I'm going to keep dividing it uh, with 2 and in that case if I divide it with 2 as I know the remainder the remainder is going to be always less than 2 so it is going to be greater than or equal to 0 but it will be less than 2 okay so all the remainder will be uh, between 0 and 1 uh, so all the remainder will be either 0 and 1 so i'm going to use the remainder as a, my binary expansion so let's see an example how this is going to work so let's see i'm going to just use a big number 2159 okay so 2159 first I'm going to divide it by 2 and I'm going to represent it like as a, as you know you can represent it like is like that bq plus r okay where my b value it's actually my divisor uh, the divisor is 2 okay now don't be confused with the base divisor with the base 2 all right all right so uh, 2159 I can write it like that say 107 1079 if i divide it by 2 it will be like that okay so i'm dividing it with 2 so this is the quotient and this is the remainder so just remember the remainder will be 0 or 1 right so i'm going to keep dividing all the question quotient so now i'm again i'm going to divide this 1079 with 2 okay and this will give me the result 539 times 2 plus 1 so again divide 539 with 2 so it will give me the value 269 2 plus 1 so again divide 269 with 2 so it will give me 134 times 2 plus 1 okay so now divide again 134 by 2 so it will give me the value uh, 67 times 2 and now the remi remainder will be 0 okay now I can divide 67 67 will be I can represent it like that 33 times 2 which is 66 plus 1 so I can divide 33 will be my 16 times 2 plus 1 okay so 16 will be 8 times 2 plus 1 again do it for 8 it will be 4 times 2 plus 0 i'm sorry it will be 0 actually okay so now do that again for 4 4 will be uh, 2 times 2 plus 0 okay now we are, we are going to do that for again 2 2 will be uh, 1 times 2 plus 0 okay we are not going to stop here all right we're not going to stop here because we can do again we can do it for one okay so our final result will be we're going to do that for one and one will be actually we can divide it one with zero okay plus zero 
and that will be actually our uh, that is actually that's where we are going to stop when our quotient q equals to zero okay our uh, it's actually one sorry I'm doing it wrong so this is actually zero times two plus one all right so we are going to stop here now when our quotient q equals to zero all right so now what actually we are going to do we are going to find the binary expansion we are going to print all the remainder but in reverse order okay so that is going to be our order to print the remainder so our um, you can see that's actually our zero place that's actually uh, that's our zero place that's our one place that's our two place like that okay um, not like that actually I'm going to actually re represent I'm going to actually print or everything as like in reverse order so uh, our binary expansion will be like that 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so 1 0 uh, hope I'm not doing it wrong I'm not missing any 0 or 1 okay so uh, let's see 1 0 0 0 0 so that's 4 0 1 0 0 0 0 okay then again 1 then 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 4 1 so I have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 uh, 13 so let's see so uh, here I have actually 12 uh, division and here I have 12 digit okay so I'm just uh, we are going to just print all the remainder in reverse order so that will give me my decimal uh, that will give me my binary expansion equivalent to the decimal number 2159 all right So let's just do one more example let's try to find out uh, just for a simple number uh, easier than that say 159 okay 159 is the decimal number and we're going to find out the binary representation of 159 so we're going to do 159 as uh, something 2 plus something all right so that will give me uh, 75 times 2 plus 1 uh, I'm sorry so um, so here it will be actually like 79 sorry about that so 79 times 2 plus 1 so let's do that for 79 79 will be 39 times 2 plus 1 39 will be um, 19 times 2 plus 1 19 will be 9 times 2 plus 1 9 is like 4 times 2 plus 1 4 is like 2 times 2 plus 0 2 is like 1 times 2 plus 0 1 is like 0 times 2 plus 1 okay now uh, that's where we are going to stop because our q equals to 0 okay and our decimal expansion is we are going to print all the decimal number all the remainder so we're going to print uh, all the remainder in reverse order and we're going to find the binary expansion so that will be our 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 and 1 so just to be sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so that's our binary expansion for decimal number 159 okay so the good thing is that the algorithm is actually same for all other expansion okay so for example if i want to do the octal expansion i have to keep dividing the decimal number by eight okay so let's see an example uh let's see we are going to find the octal expansion of number the same number 2159 okay so again we know that we have to actually represent this number as like that in the format where uh, like that say where the base is 8 okay plus okay so a n minus 2 
base is 8 n minus 2 like that so a 1 8 to the power 1 plus a 0 8 to the power 0 so all i have to do i have to represent this number using this format okay so how we can do that uh, i we have to keep dividing this number by 8 okay and i have to keep dividing this number by 8 until i find the quotient with 0 and i'm going to use all the remainder uh, because you know all the remainder will be when i will divide it by 8 all the remainder will be always from 0 to 7 right so let's do that 2159 i can represent it like that say so 2159 is same as 269 8 plus 5 sorry it will be the remainder will be 7 remainder will be 7 here okay so let's do again for 269 269 will be uh, if we divide it by 8 it is going to be look like that 33 times 8 and the rem remainder will be 5 okay now let's do that ag again for 33 33 will be 4 times 8 plus 1 now let's do again for 4 4 will be 0 plus 0 times 8 plus 4 okay all right we are done because our quotient is now zero all right now we are going to our octal expansion will be uh, all the remainder uh, printed in reverse order so it is same as 4157 okay and it is same as 2159 with 10 all right so the decimal to hexadecimal expansion is actually same the algorithm is same uh, I want to try it by yourself like uh, if we want, we want to do it like 2159 okay so we have to actually divide it keep dividing uh, divide it by 16 okay in that case for some number we are going to get the remainder will be like from 0 to 15 right now if the remainder is uh, 0 to 15 in that case the 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 all those number in hexadecimal expansion we are going to uh, just replace them with a b c d e and f okay and the algorithm is same we are going to print all the remainder in reverse order okay but if the remainder is like from 10 to 15 we are going to represent is that we are going to replace them by from a to f all right so i want you to try it by yourself all right and i'll talk about the solution in next class